We live in a very judgmental world. We judge people by their looks, clothes, income, and occupation. What has photojournalism taught you about judging people? Um, I can be open. Um, I am very suspicious of whiteness, especially living in America. I don't trust this idea of liberal ideology because even in New York, the first time I was ever called a nigger was in New York, a very liberal community. Um, so I'm very suspicious. But I've also known from working in the Deep South that there are such a people called allies. I just <laughs> quoted Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali said, if you, if you show me a, 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 a 10,000 snakes, and you tell me that a thousand snakes are not poisonous. Do you think I'm going to stop to figure out what these thousand snakes are? And no, they're all poisonous. Um, there's a story. I recently moved to Cleveland and I bought myself a firearm and I started to go to the range. And I walked into the range where everybody was white, with big beard, tattoos, what would stereotypically look like the type of people who you avoid if you're a black person. And I'm on, I'm on the range shooting, and an old white guy, and you, again, the older the white folk, the more set they are in their racist ways. That's the thought. And I'm, he's standing behind me. He's definitely somebody who works there. He's standing behind me. I turn around and I saw him and I go, in a second, I could easily go, dude, I prefer if I'm able to do this alone. Or I could be open-minded and see what he wants. And I can tell you for the three times that I've gone to this range, this man has acted as a father figure. And what it tells me, because ultimately for me, I don't believe that I should have a kumbaya moment with anybody, but I know that if we're all going to go forward, we need to go there together. It's for you to respect me and I, I to respect you. And I think photography has allowed me to be in so many of these spaces that I could have allowed him to be here and I could have learned, like he was teaching me how to use the firearm properly. He actually, when my target came up, like he told me one day, go get some smaller targets and bring them. The next Friday I went there, he took my targets and he paced them properly on the thing for me. And he said, you know, when you get through with the eight millimeter, shoot these. And then after that, he went and he took out because when you take, tear off the target, it leaves a little centerpiece. He took the centerpiece and he took, just like what a father would do to his son. And for me, that moment is by far one of the most beautiful moments in my life. That I did not shun him, that I allowed myself the space to invite him in, and that we could have had a shared moment. Because I learned, I became a better shooter just because he was allowed, he was giving me his time in that space.